the B came through here doesn't mean they wrote. Bombshell. Yes. Um, Drop a bomb. That's your thoughts. So I'm her. We did in LA. Um, it's definitely dope. Brittany B kind of really wrote uh, on the hook of this. Like we just kind of, she was stuck on the hook and Brittany B came through. Shout out to Brittany B. But like, she definitely said it and um, Queen did the actually did two verses herself but she just felt like it wouldn't be complete without another female on there oh, so mm -hmm. we tried to get her on on her which oh. would have been hard oh, yeah, but scheduling you know other oh, artists yeah, have other things and 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 we, that would have been too hard but we need to tune in days who else we tried to get on this days we tried to get Janae on it but uh we couldn't, oh, you know, okay. again, scheduling. And then, you know, Queen and I were talking and we was like, and Queen was thinking about taking it off the album because no. we couldn't get a female, you know, feature. And like, there's like, she had a lot of guy features and she just oh, wanted yeah, at least one, right? right? And so we was talking about it and she was like, I just don't know what other female would, would fit right, right in her mind. Like there's other females, but in her mind. And right. I was just like, um, Yo, Kiana's album was tight dope. Like yeah. like unskippable though. Mm -hmm. Right. But she doesn't have as much of a not, not as much popularity. Yeah. Oh. yeah the but music like the album song. itself yeah. should have got way music more light. Dope, and I was like, she'll probably kill it. And Queen's like, yo, she why didn't I think of that? She immediately reached out to her. Okay, manager. Yes. Yeah. Good she job. cooked it so much that Queen had to go back in the <laughs> into the studio because she was like, You're not finna slide on my wow. <laughs> Yo, it's like a slip rap, so like you're not about That's to kill cool, my shit, though. and then I gotta like nah. So Queen went back into it, and then Brilliant. she fixed some things, but she was like, nah, I'm gonna, I don't want it to sound like a sing off. So I'm gonna oh, let okay. Kiana have that, but that was definitely some friendly competition. And shout <laughs> out to That's Kiana. Funny. I like when the I like when the ladies join up. No, no, for <laughs> sure. The ladies join up is super dope. For sure, but Kiana's hard. Woman power, oh, yeah. yeah. Super dope. The Girl power. Ladies, nice. Oak, <laughs> Oak. Wish we could have worked with him more, man. I really wish we could have worked with him more. Pack Life was crazy. The like, production I feel like the only reason, the only reason why Pack Life, the only reason why Pack Life's not my favorite song on the album right now is because it's been out. Imagine me. I've been sitting with this for <laughs> literally. I'd probably say like these songs. The earliest one that she did on here was like in. February. I've been heard a lot of these, but like just one time. Like, you know, like, got you pack light. Like, yeah, like I just time. heard the one no, time. Pack light like, is hard. I heard love me. I heard a lot of me a hundred times. So that's the only one I heard a hundred ten times before the album came out. I already knew the words to that one. Yeah, and lie to me, Oak did too. Mm. So yeah, we yeah, had Oak is dope. Oak, no, no, Oak got the Oak. beat. That's why I said I wish we could have worked with Oak. Um, Oak got the beat, but Oak really took like. A beat that Queen had a year ago. Remember, we was with A Boogie in the in the studio, the and she did recorded. featured on his, and then he jumped on. Yeah, I remember. Right, so it was different. That song is hard too. Yeah, that song is a release. Is what I'm saying, but so they did a swap. So A Boogie is actually on the song, but it didn't make it because Queen just felt like she was in a different place. So like. We gave the production to Oak to revamp it, and A Boogie's vocals didn't match the tempo. So, and then A Boogie, she wanted him to jump on it again, but A Boogie was like, just had a child. He oh, couldn't leave man. COVID. Like, it just didn't yeah, line up. Line. Yeah, so he's in the studio, and we had this new beat, and like, she was a little stuck. She's like, man, I'm, a, you know, she had demo ears. She was like, what could we talk about? And so, you know, London J. London J is actually a legit songwriter he writes for some of the biggest people and he's so low-key with it oh, cool. but like That's good. for real yeah i'm gonna give you your flowers london j you super dope super talented and you definitely help queen every time queen called you to come to the studio you went in the studio with oh, her good. you gave her inspiration you helped her Thank with whatever you, she london. needed yes. you, know, you didn't ask for much you don't ask for no praise but you deserve it so he actually came up with the topic of lie to me Wow. You know what I'm saying? He told us a wow. story about him. We was laughing in the studio. Good old. He went behind. You know, he went behind the mic. He started it, and then Queen just did her thing from there. Like she he really just pushed her over the line to like get that done. And I think it's a dope concept. And then he also called Little Dirt. 
Oh, wow. Asking if wanted because she was like, I want a rapper, but like, who could I get? Mm-hmm. Who would fit it? And then he suggested Lil Dirt, made one phone call. The next day, we Dang. had the feature. Super dope. Wow. That's Love awesome. Lil Dirt. That fast? That fast. Damn. Yeah, That's yeah, awesome. yeah. That's the voice. Yeah. Dream. So, Dream. Um, shoot. Dream almost didn't make the album. Like, and that's just no, it scheduling. Was tragic, like, no. when, we, when we was in LA, I like Dream. It's like a little duet. Yeah. Like, like First of all, Lucky Day and Queen's music. Lucky Day got a nice voice. Lucky Day got a nice voice. Very unique voice. Yeah. yeah. Nice voice. Their musical chemistry is crazy. Like yeah. they got in and they did this so fast, so quick. They were on the same page, but they didn't get to do the bridge because we was in LA during Grammy weekend, oh. and we had to run to some Grammy events. And both of us, like Lucky Day and his team and Queen, I and saw her them team, do that and so duet they did, last you know, yeah. hook, verse, verse, but they didn't get to do the bridge, and so that was outstanding and. You know, um, we just couldn't get Lucky to do it. And so for a long time, I thought this was going to be off, but Lucky came through. Oh, Clutch, good. four seconds left. Mm-hmm. Did the bridge, wow. Queen finished it, and it made the album. So I'm super happy about that. That's awesome. And I know that she is too. Hey, a lot of good people around. Love Absolutely. Language. Man, Queen just did that at home. Love language is hard. What's my line up there? And the time to get a little, a little, a little. Damn. Love languages. I need to type to get. God damn it! Cause I'm my favorite line. <laughs> but super hard. Um, I was kind of like random. So love language is so good. She just did it. I can't wait to get some cheeks to love language. Uh, you know what? Your sister's song. I can't wait to get some cheeks to like the queen song. She's a star. Like, I can't play queen. Don't. Song. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of weird. weird. You think it's weird to get some chicks with love later? For me, but if you do what you so want. her song, like, <laughs> like, you do what you want. I think it's wrong to get some chicks to love language. Like, why would I get some to, chicks to, to love language? To can't wait to. to <laughs> why would I get chicks to Queen? She's a little star. Because you know Queen. You're right. You're close to Queen. And it's like, like she in a room you know, singing. You know? <laughs> and it's there, like, yeah. yeah. The chicks is chicks. All right. All right. All right. All right. You know, maybe so I'll just... No, no, try it out. Yeah, she said, just do what you do. It's like queens in the room. Right, that's, that's what I said. Now you, now you yeah, got it in his head. Now you thought yeah, about that. Right. Now he don't want to do it. Because you know, <laughs> if she wasn't in the room while you was getting chick, she'd be laughing. You right. Know, right. Yeah, throw me off. Exactly. Right. Yeah, forget it. Yeah, yeah. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. So without you, um, feature of us, I love but it. If I, but like, if I went to a girl's house. And I pulled up and she played Love Language. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> like, now all his little yes, girls he didn't even love you. He wasn't going to be going low. Uh, so, okay. now, now all yeah, of his little so, girlfriends are going to uh, be playing uh, Love Language. Right. I love it. You know, she did that and sent it over to Russ. They didn't actually get into the studio. Love it. Um, say what you mean. Favorite song. What's crazy is I didn't like Say What You Mean. I like the words. Really? I didn't like the production. Love it. And it was something about the production that was throwing me off. And Queen was like, no, 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 I like it. It's different. That's why I like it. And right. I remember, and I was like, Queen, I feel like I'm the regular fan, right? Like the, the casual listener, like my ear. I don't have the ear that you guys have. So I'm like, there's something off about it. And so we was in the studio with Oak when he was redoing Lie to Me. And he was like, it is a bit off. Oh. He was like, just ask them to turn the pitch down. I don't know the talk. But turn it down just a little, and when they did that, I was sold. That's so they can do that again, here. right? <laughs> <laughs> I got a little air. I mean, okay. Um, the bitter skin with Pretty B. Shout out to Pretty B. She shows Queen uh, enormous amount of love. Yeah, love. Like, I'm glad you're feeling better, Pretty B. Like, she just announced that she had COVID and she went Dang. down. And, like, wow. I was talking with her through the time that she was down and I didn't know that. you know uh-uh. she definitely hit me emotional like thanking me for keep checking on her but That's like good. she is sweet girl and just man i care about anybody that cares about queen sincerely so yo shout out oh, to pretty nice. d she killed the skit <laughs> she did like 12 skits i feel like and wow. we just chose the funniest one you know but they were all funny like yeah. we should probably just release the other all skits. the skits yeah right yeah. Yeah. Just to, to release it. Just to be funny. Bitter. Bitter is actually a song. Um, yeah, Bitter is a song that was like pretty much completely written by Ivory. Shout out to Ivory. 
Um, but Queen changed it, and I think that during this process, what Queen learned is that Queen's calling me right now. <laughs> so you talk what about Queen me. Learned, <laughs> what Queen learned Do I hear in this my name? process is that even if someone writes something, and there's not too many songs like this, like this was completely written. This is probably the only song on the album that was completely written that Queen didn't write because her pen is crazy. But she still took it and made it hers and changed it. It's a it learning up. experience for oh, yeah. artists to take some to take work from. Exactly. Yeah, to make yeah, it change. Yeah, like own. she did a little I bit like of everything on here where there were songs that were completely written by her, like pretend, mm -hmm. right? And and too much to say. Mm -hmm. And then there's songs where like people were in the room with her, you know, and she controlled it, but she definitely got feedback. Um, and she, some she took and some she didn't, but she got feedback. And then there's this one song that was completely written with her in mind, and she just changed it up to match her and, and like things that how she talks and how she would say things. So, and then you know, just ask Mulatto to get on it. Shout out to Mulatto. I love that song. Yeah, she definitely slipped. Mulatto's slid. verse is beast. No, nah, no, nah, she slipped. She completely slipped. So, Mulatto's verse is beast. Mulatto. I love Mulatto. If you, if you see this video, I love him. <laughs> one time. <laughs> So this is a hit maker track. It was actually already fully written. It's one of those where Queen grabbed it and she, she made it hers completely. She kept the hook. The hook was there already. So shout out to hit maker. Um, and for Sean, for Sean, super talented writer. Susie Slay. So the one time she did her verse, they kept the verse in the pre-hook and then got Tusi on it. You know, there is another version of this. Um, but the final one was with Tusi, and Tusi definitely did his thing, Tusi. and he did it super quick. Like she had a phone call with him. He did. He did a verse. She didn't like the verse, um, you know, because it's just like real vulgar and stuff. Like she was like, oh. you know, I don't really want it to be that crazy. He was like, oh no problem. Went back and like a few minutes later, wow. it was like what you hear is crazy. Super talented. He also is her label mate. Shout out to Tusi and his team. For that pressure, pressure <laughs> so almost didn't make the album. I'm gonna tell you right now. We oh did the gosh. Apple pre-list where like it lists the tracks and pressure we had a spot for it, but we could because it's a Tupac sample. <gasps> Honestly, like oh, literally days before the release, wow. it got cleared. Oh my god. We gosh. were trying to do something else. Queen made another version. It wasn't wow. called pressure, but she made another version. Um, yeah, my phone is hot right now. Mm. All right, so no, nah, your phone is on fire. Like the calls you've been getting, yeah, the been, people that's damn, calling. I don't right? think I even know how <laughs> how nah. Lee's really moving out here. <laughs> Her contact list is different yeah. than y'all contact list. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I'm just over here like, God damn. I can't, I can't <laughs> read my phone. Like, God damn. Okay, so. The only one that I get, we called me sometimes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess that one works. Um, uh, damn. Yeah, so it almost didn't make it, but you know, shout out to Queen's okay. lawyer, got it done. You know, four seconds left to the game. And it made Queen wow. very, very happy. So, you know, that made me happy. Five yeah. seconds. Is that, the, uh, is, is that the one that you uh, met with? Uh, whose manager? One of the artists that got that sample clear? Uh, oh, Polo G, Polo G. Yeah, so so that was like a part of the process because it just got to a point where Queen's like, I'm not gonna be happy if it's not on the album, and I was like, Well, yeah. the lawyer's trying to clear, and she's like, Lee, I'm serious, and all of that. that so then I saw so that Polo G had a Tupac clearance. And Love that song. I reached Love. out to Polo Love. G's manager, and like she was so helpful. That's like good. she was just like, Oh, here's a lawyer, here's a, and all that. But but Queen's lawyer already had been in contact with Ooh. that person. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but it was just me trying to scramble because Queen right. was like, mm, okay. she wanted it bad, and I was trying to give her that. But yeah, but it ended up getting clear, so that's this only the game shit is dope. Yeah. Is dope. So five seconds featuring Jaquees. Honestly, like that one been out though. I feel like that's one of the first ones we got. Yeah, this is one of the first ones we got. Yeah. But like, shout out to Jaquees. That's he, something. He's been that's showing something. Queen love from the beginning. That's he popped in a session like when she was like unsure, of, like just all the songs if they were cohesive he sat in the studio with her listened to that's the whole nice. thing yes. gave her some advice she did the same thing for him that's he was good. like listen to that's my good. album and all of that and they got on each other's album mm. she's hitting you too 
Yeah. She wants to know where they're going. Yeah. We'll hit her right back. She's she like, she's like, go find me. She's like, why are you talking about me? Right, so that's five seconds. Um, and then pretend, pretend has been around so since that might the be beginning. The, that might really be the first. Yeah, one. but there was major issues with pretend. No, but pretend was from the first batch. Though. Listen, that's from when I was recording my. Album. Yeah, we oh. had about ten versions of pretend. Wow. There was major wow. issues with pretend. Ten wow. Please. We got it done. Can't speak on it legally, <gasps> but we got it done, and. That person will never work with us again. All right, trauma wow. era. Wow. So trauma era. I feel like the, the craziest part of trauma era for me, in terms of like just knowing you guys, is that y'all thought about naming the album. Trauma yes, era. that was oh, the wow. name of the album because look it, at there. If no. y'all asking, I burned that up right there. I didn't agree. Nah, he didn't agree, I but agree. I was okay with it because you loved it. Yes, you wanna know why? Because if you were going through everything I was going through with her and how we were trying to get things done, yeah, it's not like the process like to get to this point. Oh. The whole oh, child I, era, I feel like misunderstood. Yeah, but she, she came up with that and we went with it. When I heard it, I was like, yeah, automatically misunderstood. Definitely nah, takes the cake. What, what was the other names though? No, nah, I didn't really. I wasn't tracking the child and never was the best one. Nah, I, I, like, I, like, no, I feel like I feel like I was jacking some. No, no, no. Like, he right. wanted I'm um, her. Like he yeah. wanted to go all the way. <laughs> That's audacious. Damn audacious. Her, yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's hurry up. And, all right, hey, so, good. Come on, y'all. Y'all, y'all take it too long, man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, 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 y'all. Um, he wanted to go for I'm her. I was jacking the trailer ever as the album title, but nonetheless, Queen went to sleep one night, woke up, she felt misunderstood. Oh. She called me, she said, This is what I'm thinking. I said, That's and with it. The two yes. Ham. yes. Wow. The two S's. Yes. Ham. So we Miss ran with it. Come on, right. Ham. Right. Ham. And then Butterflies Part 2. Y'all know that story. I mean, yeah. Y'all, y'all know They've that been story. Love, part and two, she wanted still to do it. Yeah. And it was actually a session that I didn't want her to record this. Because I started to learn the rules of songwriting in LA. So that means if somebody's in the session completely sleep, not contributing, they automatically get assigned the the percentage. And so I didn't want her to take a song that was already on her heart and have to split it with someone because the session was scheduled. She wanted to do it anyway. We had to share some of the percentage, even though they weren't really involved. And so it was a lesson learned for Queen because I tried to tell her, but. Oh. It's done. Yeah, if that's the case, if that's the case, yeah, we all should be getting <laughs> <laughs> But we don't do that. We would never do that. We would never that do that. Like, we're not even, writing. I remember the feature with A Boogie. I gave one of the words, the whole "you're a dub." Yeah. That was me. She <laughs> don't talk like that. But we did that. I say like, give me a percentage? No, I don't. Know. I don't think that you if should. Somebody do that. got paid in LA. We all deserve to get paid. Listen, to get them. No, but I just feel <laughs> like if Queen, if Queen comes to like you snakes. and says. Yo, do you like that? And you get and you say yeah. I don't think that warrants a percentage. I don't think wow. so either. I think if you ask for a percentage, you're snake. Listen, all right, beautiful. Wow. You know I'm feeling beautiful. That's it's just song. a beautiful song. It's a favorite song. No pun intended. <laughs> I love it. Perfect outro. Just a recap of her journey and everything like that. I love the album. Love the label. I got a lot of. Calls to to yeah you got mad calls to look, to this is Queen's message you don't even love me nigga tell me so tell me something mm, shit. oh you better right. call Queen back right she ain't said to me, she ain't said to me. I that's know, all on you nah you need to yeah, call Queen, Queen. Got, I love your album go ahead call I love your right album, sis. it was amazing I love the album I'm proud of her cannot like say how proud I am of her you're proud of yourself too. We Thank proud you. of you, Liv. Yeah, Good job, job Lee. I know you're not really a singer. Good I'm job, not Lee. Lee. Yeah, but this is your own. I'm not even a writer. I'll you've been there. You've been there through every part of this process. Yes. You actually, really, because this has been going on really since Legend was born. Yeah. Like, and people don't even know wow. that. Yeah. You know I me? Mean? So you've really been running along this, oh, yeah. trying to. There was a time where she didn't even know she wanted to get back in the studio yet. Wow. And you had to like get her back in the rhythm. Then she caught the bug that eventually got her hair. Yeah. So oh, you know, this, 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 you're unsung hero. You yeah. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you, know, you Jared, for so hype her up. She Thank needed you, that. Yeah, she Shit, really did. She's going to give it up. Right. Yeah, right. I felt that way that night. The president of Capitol called me and was like, 
this is your night too. Aww. Aww. And it's a pleasure working with you. And I like, nice. I love that. That's why I have the Malibu bottle. Yeah. <laughs> so we're celebrating. I'm yeah. celebrating. Celebrate Lily. This album is a way longer. I don't know why I'm calling call her Lily. Like, I know her. Really Come on, dead balls. Damn near right. legend in the stomach. Yeah. Like, it started like first week of February. She gave birth, as we know, Jenny. Yeah. The yeah. moment legend was born, this has been going on. Wow. They probably think the queen was chilling. You was chilling. Never this chilling. has really been going on. Never since, chilling. Never this chilling. has been going on since they was on the fifth floor. They're in the whole, they don't Wait, even live there anymore. They be serious all <laughs> the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, yeah. really and that was one of the, the reasons why I moved because I was like, there's no yeah. way we could successfully do this rollout right. and not be beside her. That's like, true. Queen and I are more than just manager, client. Like, she's my sister. I'm her friend. And they like, lived in this house a year, too. Yeah. So this is before that. This is before the 27th floor they lived on the top floor. Right. And then before that. Mm hmm It's a long process. But I'm glad it's over. It, I look back on yeah. it. The journey was beautiful. Right? Was hard. It was hard, but we did it. Cross, cross the line. So, this is what this video is. I have to call Queen back, but this oh. is P.O. This is T.O. And I really enjoyed Queen's album. Mm -hmm. So did I. Yeah. Peace. All right. right. Good job, y'all. Bye. Like, Bye. comment, Bye. subscribe, share if you care. Click, click the, the bell and become part of the Nova Squad. squad. Learn so much. She yes. got bombs and knowledge. And All this behind a great album. We proud of you, yes. Lee. And Queen. And Queen. All right. And the family. Bye bye. Bye bye. to like comment and subscribe click the bell become part of the noto squad get us to 100k